April 29, 2017, multiple tornadoes would touch down east of Dallas, Texas, two of them deadly. I've got a woman. I'm taking her to the hospital. All right, be careful. A stationary boundary positioned over the town of Canton would serve as a track for tornadoes to train down one after another. Man, it's heading right for town. For the folks in Canton, the nightmare was never ending. Oh my God, those people got to get out of here. Those people got to get out of here. They're going to die. For a veteran storm chaser, the third and largest tornado of this family was the scariest tornado I've ever witnessed. Oh man, this thing is moving fast. Tracking highly visible tornadoes over open land is more mesmerizing than scary. Continuous clear view of the rain-free storm base helps you predict storm motion as you gawk with confidence. The first tornado I witnessed was small and rain-wrapped, causing only EF0 damage to trees and barns east of Canton. After this weak tornado dissipated, a large killer was developing upstream and racing toward town. We're right in path right here. Jump over these trees any second now. High precipitation storm modes with low cloud bases tracking swiftly over thick forest are extremely risky conditions to chase in. If you could see through this wall of trees, you might see the low contrast silhouette of the deadly tornado 60 seconds before crashing into you and at 30 seconds away. In these conditions, at 15 seconds before impact, you still might be completely unaware of your fate. There it is. Oh. oh man. Big day. Coming right this way. Those people gotta get out of here. Oh my god, those people gotta get out of here. They're gonna die. The shrouded tornado badly damaging houses right behind me will strengthen to one of the most powerful tornadoes of 2017. It will level a two-story brick home and sweep much of the foundation slab clean of debris. Many people will be injured and two will lose their lives before this EF4 finally dies. That's it right there. That's it. Meanwhile, another powerful killer tornado is developing to the south. Just got a glimpse of it. Alright, there it is. Let's go get it. While positioning for a closer view, the trees obscure clues that this intensifying tornado is moving much faster than I calculated. Okay, we're right on its path.
vessels. It's heading right for town. At this moment, a wedding venue is being overrun with 20 people crammed in an interior bathroom. After the mile-wide tornado passes, it will be the only room still standing. Everyone will survive. now destroying a Dodge dealership, tossing cars up to a half a mile. A woman was killed as her car was thrown from the interstate into a field. Another man will lose his life, as well as many farm animals. It looks like it's over a lot of trees. I mean, there's houses everywhere out here, but it missed the main part of town. We're going to have to go check on these people. After the tornado has passed, hazards are scattered everywhere. Twisted metal, spears of splintered wood and nails, glass and rebar. Wires everywhere I can. Power lines down to cross lawns, roads, and wreckage can easily kill you, even if you are standing several feet away, especially in wet conditions. Your throat and nostrils often burn from broken lines pouring gas into the air. The worst thing you can do while trying to assist tornado victims is become a casualty yourself. I just saw another tornado right there. There's a tornado following it right in there. See it? There's another one. You guys can keep chasing if you want. Alright. I guess I could go check out in that field for people. Oh, damn it, there's cars. Be right back. At this moment, I'm running out to check this vehicle for possible victims. It never occurred to me to check this leveled pile of rubble for survivors. On the way, a woman had crawled out of that mangled rubble. She was badly bleeding from her head and watching over her husband, who was lying on the concrete with a broken neck. I've got a woman. I'm taking her to the hospital. All right, be careful. The woman in my car had lost just about every material possession she had. How you doing back there? I'm good. She said she's good. Despite the injuries to her and her husband, she hadn't lost her faith or her sense of humor. Your name again? Hank. I forgot your name. Good. <laughs> I feel so bad. The gravity of the situation was offset with joking and gratitude. And I tell you, I might have met a stronger woman, but I can't remember when. We're tested, then we moan, and then we have a testimony. Before walking together into the ER, with blood running down her face, she paused to say a prayer for me. Father God, I just thank you for Hank. I ask you to protect him in his storm chasing, and that you bless him and his wife for everything he's done for us. Amen. The next morning when I was cleaning my car, I found a gun she left in the back seat. Welcome to Texas, y'all.
going toward us, going away from us. thanks so much for checking out tornado 2019 make sure you hit that subscribe button check bell for notifications and we'll see you next time on top videos now